In this video, we are going to look in Figma that how we are going to create a bootstrap for grid in a large desktop, desktop uh, and uh, mobile view and their iPad or medium sized view. So let's get started. So let's dig into Figma now. Okay, so first we are going to open up a new file. Right now we are in Figma. So click over here on the plus sign to create a new file. So it will take some seconds, which I really hate when it does that. Anyhow, so we are going to create a new frame. So for that, it is basically artboards. So we are going to go to desktop and we are going to create this desktop frame over here. So width is 1440. So this is actually the extra large grid for um, Bootstrap 4. So we are going to go to this option on the right, which is called layout grid. So we are going to press plus. So instead of grid, we are going to switch over here and from get grid, to we are going to switch to columns. So we have actually 12 columns, sorry, 12 columns. And uh, I'm going to change the color of this because I don't like this one. So I'm going to go with blue right now. So instead of stretch, uh, stretch we are going to select center so we need our uh, columns to be in center center line and width will be 65 and gutter size will be 30 so this is actually our bootstrap grid for extra large desktop um, space uh, which is going to be 1440 we have I think 135 pixels margin on both sides but we don't need to worry about this offset because we already have set the width so we are going to keep that in the center. So this is actually how we are going to create an extra large bootstrap, uh, extra large, let's call it extra large bootstrap four. Okay, so uh, if you are familiar with vertical grid or vertical rhythm, we are going to create now vertical rhythm. So we are going to create one more grid on top of it. And we are also going to switch to rows. Now we are in vertical direction. So this is actually our grid in vertical direction. For that, we are going to select the count to auto. And instead of stretch, we are going to stick it to the top and height will be eight. So it, this is called eight pixel grid and gutter will also be eight. So you can see it has a nice pattern of white and red, uh, pink, white, pink, white, pink grid and this is uh, how you create a layout grid using bootstrap 4 for extra large desktop if you want to save it you can click over here and create a new style and call it bootstrap extra large so whenever you want to use it you can just click over here and you can put the grid on your frames now we are going to move to another frame uh, so let's create another frame and it is going to be actually a tablet size and it is this size 1024 So we are going to have this size 1024 uh, By whatever you want. So I'm going to fix it to 1024 right now like this So let's drag it in the center Okay, now the same method again. We are going to have uh, Let's let's see if we can apply this over here so you can see now it is going out of the this canvas because we uh, the sizes are a bit different over here. So because we have less space, we are going to use 50 pixels of column over here. So let's remove this and we are going to create a new layout grid. Go to columns, 12 columns and we are going to uh, center line them. Then we are going to use the width of 50 pixels over here for this width which is 1024 and the gutter is also 30 so you can see this is how we create a bootstrap grid for uh, let's rename it boot um, this is called large bootstrap 4 okay so I'm not going to create again the the vertical rhythm so if you want to create you can go ahead and switch to rows and uh, count to auto and you can have something at top you can also change the color if you like to for example I want to go into grays and I am going to use 16 this time let's use 16 okay 
So right now on this I'm using vertical rhythm of 16. Now we are moving to another frame which is going to be this one iPad mini 768 which is called medium frame. So let's rename it medium medium bootstrap 4. So similarly again we are going to create uh, our grid over here but it will be six columns now. So we are going to shift to columns and it is going to be six columns and let's center it and the width of the column is 88. So something like this and gutter will be 30. So same gutter, same everything. We have less margins on both sides because we have less screen to play with over here. So six columns for our medium bootstrap four grid. And let's create a small, small one. Oops, so we are going to create a new one over here. Uh, this is going to be Foon and it is going to be this one 320 because it is the smallest one standard one We are going to play with this one So let's zoom in Like this and now we are going to have just two columns So rather than having multiple columns, we are going to have just two columns and we are going to again use center and this time we are going to use 130 pixels the size over here and gutter will be 30 pixels same so this is how actually a bootstrap 4 system of grids can be made you can save them and you can reapply them whenever you want and that will be easier for you if you uh, for example let's save this one let's create a bootstrap this is a small bootstrap grid. Let's say this like that. And for example, if I want to create a new frame of uh, iPhone SE and let's apply this auto layout and we have small bootstrap grid. You can see now it is already applied over here automatically. So this is how you are going to use bootstrap local styles, grid styles. You can create grids in this way and you can apply them whenever you open up a new document. For example, I have this one. I mostly design my websites using extra large bootstrap 4. So whenever I design something like that, I'm going to save this, for example, this one, this style, and I'm going to reapply it whenever I need to create a new design. So I hope you have enjoyed this bootstrap 4 creation of this grid system, vertical grid and horizontal column grid and using Figma. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me uh, in the comments below. One more thing is that if we go over here, you can see we have this option to hide layout grid. So you can hide control shift or command shift four is the shortcut key. You can hide and you can show these layout grids. And uh, that is all. If you like my video, don't forget to uh, subscribe and press the bell icon and uh, make sure you get updated whenever I create more videos like this because the, my next course is going to be on Figma and stay tuned till then take care and bye see you soon in the next video